I, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft had a busy day yesterday where they have also rolled out a brand new pair of beta channel insider boards, 22621 and 22631.2338. Now, as I have posted over the last couple of weeks, things are settling down in the beta channel now for version 23H2, which is our soon to be released uh, feature update rolling out for Windows 11. And um, because of that, really, um, there's not really too much going on this week. Um, the update that rolled out um, with those builds, KB5030305, is addressing a lot of bugs and issues in the beta channel. So obviously, um, because we are rolling out Patch Tuesday updates, Microsoft did more or less the same in the beta channel to address issues um, in those beta channel builds. Now, just to focus on one or two changes and improvements, just to keep you posted as to new features Microsoft is working on. And it seems that in version 23H2, um, we are going to be getting a new focus session widget, where in these builds, they are beginning to roll out a new focus session widget as part of a clock app update, version 11.2306.22.0 and higher. And... Uh, um, with this new widget, Microsoft says you'll be able to quickly start and stop focus sessions on your device. And in case you're wondering what focus sessions are, just in case you're unaware, they are used uh, to improve productivity by blocking out distractions and focusing on basically a task and one task at a time. So um, a new focus session widget we can expect to see rolling out with 23H2. And that's for the widget board. So if we just head to the widget board in the stable version, uh, that'll be part of these widgets where you'll be able to then um, enable and pin the focus session widget eventually when it rolls out uh, to your widget board. Then moving on, um, changes and improvements in bold 22631. Um, if you are using Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Teams Free is now available. And with this bold, um, chat is now Microsoft Teams Free. So they've just changed chat, um, which rolled out in the original release um, of uh Windows 11 that was pinned to the taskbar and um, that's now called Microsoft Teams free and it's also pinned by default to the taskbar and can be unpinned like other apps um, on the taskbar so that's Microsoft Teams free if you are using Microsoft Teams and then just one other small little change um, in the stable version if we just head over to our Bluetooth and devices page if you head into your devices um, they've added a new option under settings, Bluetooth devices, and phone link. And this is interesting because it will, will enable you to disable phone link altogether in Windows 11. And when this does roll out, um, this setting will prevent phone link from communicating with your mobile devices. So uh, you don't have to go through scripts and um, third-party ways of trying to uninstall phone link. It looks like that's going to be an option to disable phone link altogether in Windows 11, which I think is a nice move in the right direction if and when that does roll out with Windows 11 version 23H2. So guys, that's more or less what's new in this week's beta channel boards, 22621 and 22631.2338. And as mentioned, mainly a bug fix update because Microsoft is getting things ready now for 23H2, but does include those couple of changes and improvements. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.